Hey everyone, it's Derek J, and it is June 12th, 2014. I'm here at Robin Hood Park, where I've just been delivered by one of Robin Hood's merry men himself, Garrett Ian. And we are driving along uh, because there was a ceremony this morning for the opening of Robin Hood Park, which both of us totally spaced on. Well, I didn't know about it until about 15 minutes ago I saw the event was posted to Facebook by Garrett but uh, looks like no bureaucrats or anyone's here I guess they had a ribbon cutting ceremony well, and the then they Zubo, opened the park um, you'll notice there's the city of Keene band as well as uh, one of the DPRK officials himself Andy Bohannon who is the parks and rec director here in Keene okay. um, so of course it would be appropriate for him to be present at a, an event in the park um, I guess not too many people came. I mean, it's about 12 o'clock now, and there's one guy sitting here chilling on the bench. He may or may not have been at the event. Um, some cars parked here, but nobody's really doing anything. Yeah, let's, let's get out. There were allegedly light refreshments. Oh, wow. We missed the light refreshments. Okay. So this is Robin Hood Park. Beautiful, huh? There's a nice little pond, lake, reservoir thing. There's some pool over here. I don't really come to parks, so I don't know, but uh, some people like to hike here. There's an amphitheater up at the top of that hill, and it's like a natural amphitheater with all the, the dirt, you know, seats. There's no seats or anything, but you know, if you uh, pile in there like a like you could have a cool concert in there. And I heard that there were concerts in there like in the 70s. They have uh, electric that's run up there somehow, so. Um, and then that gazebo, which I don't know if that's new or not. I, I certainly don't recognize it from the last couple of years, but maybe it's been there. And uh, yeah, it looks like pretty much everyone's gone and this is about the normal amount of people who would be at the park at this time of day. Any other thoughts, Garrett? You gonna take video? Sure, why not? Okay. Because there's nothing really going on here. No, there isn't really anything going on here. We're here at Robin Hood Park and it's uh, a quiet and serene day. I got 12.01 p.m. June 12th, Thursday, 2014. No glass beverage containers allowed in the park. You know what that means. No, what's that mean? No, no, uh, no soda bottles? of your beverages. Why not? Paper bags, and no glass beverages. I mean, you could put your. I would. Cans. I like Mexican Coke. That comes in a glass bottle. Oh look, a City of Keene van. That reminds me of the sheriff's van that I rode in, and, then, and they cart people around. The same kind of van. The windows are pretty nice in that van. At least you can see out, and a lot of light gets in. The yeah. sheriff's van have that many windows? Yeah, it had windows, but they were all uh, barred in. They were like, you know caged. Uh, these look like new benches, so this looks like Those a project. Look very nice. uh, this park didn't look as nice a couple of these, years ago. These curbs, this edging, I believe it's new and it's not granite. So to me, that's um, I think that's wonderful that that's saving saving money, um, putting in a much less expensive sort of curbing here. So yeah. hey, that's awesome DPRK. Maybe the, the efforts of Robin Hooding are having an effect. Uh, I wonder. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what this slope is all about. There's this like ramp here, which looks like a concrete ramp. Maybe it's stone. And then it leads right down to the water. I guess, is this for putting in like a kayak or something? Or what's the idea here? I suppose you could put a small boat in. Um, I wouldn't suggest anything with a motor, and I would expect that motors sorts of vehicles would be prohibited on this closed of an environment. But I know that this is a very nice spot to be ice skating in the winter. In fact, I had a good time ice skating on this pond this winter. It's the only opportunity I really had ice skating this winter. Um, cool. Yeah, you see that the water striders are out in force. It's raining a little bit, so it's probably a good environment for them. We got pollen everywhere you look. You see the yellow dust. That may be a little bit of the current for the people coming out in the pollen country. There's the new gazebo. I think it looks nice. More gazebos, please. <laughs> I love I them. If there's power access. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who pays for the power? 
I would assume people, PPRK. People pay for the power. All right. And it should be power for the people. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's be it's beautiful, it, despite being slightly overcast. It's a beautiful day in Keene, New Hampshire. Well, I'm ready to return. I don't think there's anything going on here, and I've got lots of video projects to attend to, and blogging at freekeen.com.